Hey guys, Amazon Alex here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a Logitech M510 that I just picked up off of Amazon. I'll be linking a product description down below. Um, I'm just gonna be doing a quick unboxing of this Logitech wireless mouse. Uh, tell you what I like and kind of give you a little background as to why I purchased it. So unwrapping this Logitech mouse from its plastic shielding, you can see on the back right here, there's a pull tab to make it easy. And it just pulls right off like that so you don't need scissors. And here's some the manuals and then the mouse is right here. I picked up the red model. And on the back, it looks like there's also a pull tab, probably for the battery. So this is the, the battery slide or cover. So I'm gonna slide that off. And it comes pre-installed with two AA Duracell batteries, which is really nice. Um, so I'm gonna pull this tab and stick these back in like so. And it looks like it even comes with a little pull tab right here so that if you need to lift the batteries out, you can just kind of pull up on that tab and it makes getting the batteries out a little easier. So nice feature there. And also it comes with a built-in holder for your USB dongle. It's not Bluetooth. This is a 2.4 gigahertz uh, frequency that it communicates. So you just plug this end into your computer and uh, make sure the, the mouse is on with this switch. So this is off when it's showing the red and on when it's showing green. So right now it's on, you just plug this dongle into your laptop. And if you wanna tuck it in nicely, say you're using this uh, for travel, uh, you can just put the uh, dongle back in here, turn your mouse off, and put your cover back on. This is the other side of the mouse here. So you have a, a light indicator showing if it's on. Standard wheel, left click, right click. And then what's really nice, one of my favorite features on the left here is a, a back button and a forward button. So if you're on web pages, you can scroll forward or back and it's got some nice grip on the side and it has feet on the bottom. So it glides really nicely. So um, now I'm gonna show you some real world use and kind of why I picked this up. Alrighty, so you can see on the right here, this is my new Logitech M510 mouse, and I'm using it with my new MacBook Pro. And I'm gonna pull the dongle out, like so. And I'm gonna plug it into this hub that I got. I also did a review on this hub that you can see on my channel. And because the newer MacBooks don't come with a standard USB port, I'm using this hub because they use uh, Thunderbolt 3 ports. So I'm just plugging the dongle in here. Over here is my trusty M510 that I bought probably five years ago. And I use it with a Windows laptop. Um, the nice thing about using these mouses with a Windows laptop is it automatically installs the drivers for the mouse. So all the buttons work immediately once you plug the dongle in. Um, and the reason I picked up this mouse again, now, you know, five years later, is one, the battery life on these mouses, they really do last about a year and a half to two years. That's two AA batteries. Now, um, I picked up a different color for this MacBook here. I got the, the red color to match some of the keyboard covers I have. Um, now, the thing about using this Logitech mouse 
with the MacBook is the left and right click buttons as well as the, the scrolling wheel will automatically work when you plug the dongle into a Mac. However, these buttons on the side, the forward and back buttons, are not gonna work um, immediately. You have to manually install the driver. Alrighty, so what we need to do now is download the appropriate software and, and drivers for our Logitech M510 mouse in order to allow or enable the forward and backward buttons to work that's on the left hand side of the mouse. So what you'll need to do is either go to Google or Logitech's website directly and search for um, the Logitech M510 driver. So I'm on their support page right now. I'm just going to scroll down, find the product. So go to mouse and pointers. Scroll down until you see the M510. Here it is. Go to the download section. Show all downloads. And then you'll want to make sure if you're using a Mac to choose this operating system and make sure to choose whichever operating system you're, you're currently running. I'm using Catalina at the moment. and click the download now button. Make sure to run the installer, open it. Click install Logitech. I don't want to share my analytics personally. Alrighty. Um, I'm just going to skip this login step. This is if you want to back up your settings to the cloud. I, there's really not a whole lot of settings I'll be uh, implementing here. So I'm going to skip this step. And as you can see here, this is my mouse, uh, although it's a different color and it's showing that the forward and backward button are enabled. Here's your left, your right click, your, your uh, scroll button here. And you can configure this in any way you'd like. You can change up uh, with the, the button functions. Say you wanted this button to be, I don't know, control F for example. You could do that if you wanted to and you can always restore to default. So I'm gonna leave out the default mode and I'm just gonna test to make sure it works. So I'm gonna to go to this web page here and test out my side buttons. I know you can't see it here, but I'm gonna choose the back button. And as you can see, that did work. And then I'm gonna click the, the uh, forward button, which is essentially just gonna emulate these buttons here, forward and backward. So really that's all you need to do to get your mouse set up. As you can see, they kind of changed up the branding a little bit um, from this five-year-old one to, to the one I just bought. But this one I, I haven't had any issues with. Um, all the buttons still work really well. They're really clicky. Uh, the, the grip on the sides is still working really well. And um, these feet have held up over time. Now this isn't a Bluetooth mouse, so some people may prefer having a Bluetooth mouse with a MacBook just so that they're not running more dongles. And But I just like how reliable these are and how nice that they fit in your hand. So overall, I've been really happy with these Logitech M510 mouses or mice. Um, again, I'll be linking a product description down below so you can pick one up. The other nice feature is that these are only around $20. Um, you may pay a couple extra bucks to get one in the red or blue color, but I wanted to be able to differentiate between my mouse for my MacBook and the mouse for uh, my Dell XPS. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below.